What is up guys, Johnny here back with more Shadow Gun Legends. In today's video, we look at the new legendary locations for update 0.6.2. The update's been out for a week now and we have a pretty good idea where the legendaries are. First thing you notice when looking at the war games, the biggest change, they removed Hive Mind from the war games list. They want to rework Hive Mind, making it harder. So they decided to remove it to take time to do the proper changes. Hive Mind could be back soon. They said they probably won't need to wait for the next big update to put Hive Mind back in the game. They did not say any date, but it could be soon. So what they did when they removed Hive Mind, they took all the legendaries that were in Hive Mind and they put them in the Voltaic Fist Dungeon and the Blade Dancer dungeon. The legendaries in Silver Arena are the same as before. So let's start with the Voltaic Fist. In the Voltaic Fist dungeon, you will find the Mew Chaser 89 machine gun, the Slade Shitstorm rocket launcher, and the Plasma Blaster SMG. You will also find the legendary shoulders, Basilisk, and Invictus. In the Blade Dancer dungeon, you will find the Kira SMG, the Embra auto rifle, the true patriot sniper rifle you will also find the legendary chest armor basilisk and invictus now in silver arena the same legendaries we had before 0.6.2 og moneymaker sniper the ferragini shotgun mother's promise pistol and nico stopper auto rifle you will also find the legendary gloves legs and boots for both sets Invictus and Basilisk. That's it for the legendary locations. The updates only been out for a week. Madfinger Games did not announce the legendary locations, so we have to find out for ourselves. I'm pretty confident the list is very accurate. Now, quick review of 0.6.2 update. They said they were gonna increase the drop rates significantly. They were not wrong. There's a lot of legendaries dropping now. I haven't been so lucky lately, but still I dropped much more legendaries this week than ever before. They also said they wanted to fix the medals. They did fix most of them, uh, mostly for the dungeon medals. Before the update, if you had a bunch of ribbons, you couldn't unlock the medals, but that was fixed. So you see, I got a bunch of medals for the ribbons that go with the dungeons. But some medals are still bugged as you can see. The rank ascendancy and rank climber for duels, they're still bugged. I have 10 times I should have the medal now. Same thing for ascendancy, they did not unlock. I'm still missing the uh, elimination medal also and the team PvP. So most of the PvP medals are still bugged, but that's pretty much it. With update 0.6.2, we now have events every week because of the new improved Genesis system. Pedro Dorado is live right now, six days remaining. But they said we will have six rotating events and every week we'll have something to do with exclusive rewards. There was a very annoying bug when you always had to inspect your teammates before going in the game. But they seem to have fixed that. I don't have to inspect my teammates anymore. The most annoying bug ever was the re-rolling of the perks anytime you would log out and back in the game. So if you found some good stuff and you log out, when you come back, the perks re-rolled or the perks changed. It created a bunch of problems for a lot of players. It was very frustrating. That is now fixed. They also changed the content of the strong boxes and the lock strong boxes that you find in missions and dungeons. One thing I don't really like is they added paint into the strong boxes. So if you collected all your old cosmetics and hoping you would have a good chance at getting the new ones, well, think again because now you will drop a bunch of paint buckets that will prevent you from getting the new cosmetics for cheap. That's about it for now. The legendary locations should change again. So enjoy farming Voltaic Fist and Blade Dancer because when Hive Mind comes back, the legendaries will go back to Hive Mind. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends videos. Don't forget to turn on your notifications and watch my other videos. I'll be back soon.